Hey guys, Car Reviews with Josh here. Today I'm reviewing the 2003 Oldsmobile Silhouette Premier. And the trim levels go from GL, GLS, Premier, GLS all-wheel drive, and Premier all-wheel drive. And this is the second generation Oldsmobile Silhouette. Uh, the first generation went from 1990 to 1996, and this one went from 1997 to 2004 when Oldsmobile stopped altogether. But this van is uh, nice. It's got 16-inch alloy wheels. It also has uh, this blue paint here. Very nice. The style is pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the interior. It's got tan leather interior. With full power seat. You got your wood trim here. Power locks, power windows, power mirrors, auto side driving window, nice door handle here, and nice touches here. Pretty good material. You got a map pocket here and a bottle holder. So let's go ahead and hop inside. So inside here, we got this nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice. Steering wheel controls, four spoke wheel, and um, very nice. It, it feels good. I like the nine, you, it's got a good nine and three grip, and it looks very nice. I like the silhouette steering wheel. And you can't, the this is kind of like the Chevy Venture or Pontiac Montana, but it does have a different steering wheel and kind of a different grill. Now, it's on the, here, you got your rear air controls. And you can, or you can let them control it from down there. You also have your heated leather seats for your passenger or driver. Traction control and driving lamps. You also have your air controls with dual climate control. Six CD changer with AM FM radio. And you also can play your DVD through the speakers here. Um, DVD players right down here. You stick your DVD and all your stuff there. You got a nice storage cubby here and two power outlets. And then you also have another storage cubby down there. Nice wood trim around here. That you know, I like the wood trim on here. Uh, I like these got good, good vents here. Three up here, and then you got storage cubby there. You got your fuel gauge, speedometer, and your uh, temperature gauge. You got your odometer over there too. Um, here I'll. Trying to see it over here. There. So you can also get a tachometer gauge for this, but um, this one does not have it. I like it when it has a tachometer. You got your message center there, and you also have your air vent there. Light controls. Um, other light controls. You got your memory seats, and these are not memory foam seats. These are just um, memory. They remember your height. When you program it, it remembers um. So when you stick the key in, it automatically adjusts the seat to your height. And you can press exit and it puts, puts the seat all the way back and lifts the recline to forward so that you can actually get out easier, which is nice. And you got a nice storage cubby there, tilt wheel here, and then of course your blinkers and everything. So it's nice. So interior's pretty, it's really good for, I think it's pretty good for 2003. And it's nice, you know, it's comfy in here. Um, you got storage. You got pretty good storage and you got two cup holders here too. So it's really nice in here. You got a pretty decent sized glove box there. And you can also get a locking one, but this one does not have it. You do have a handle up there, your visor here. Um, information station, your light controls. All kinds of stuff here. Your power doors, you can shut the power doors off, leave them like like that, or you can open them up from up here. You got your rear window that you can open, your windows, and then you got your parking sensors that you can shut off or leave on auto. You also have your OnStar communications, so you can do personal calling, or if you're in an emergency, you can call like uh, the ambulance if you got in a crash or something, which is pretty nice there, but you also do have to subscribe and pay for that. And then you also have a home link garage door opener here, which you can just program it and then you don't have to carry your garage door opener with you. And then, you know, 
if you have more if you have a lot of vehicles with if you have a lot of vehicles and are short on remotes for the garage door which is pretty nice too so yeah that's nice and um you got your airbags up there airbag there this thing has four airbags it's got an airbag here airbag up there and then the side airbags at the side of the seat here but yeah these seats are very comfortable um you got the full power seat which is um you can't get those on the venture or the montana you only can get it on the silhouette for the full power seat and then um yeah back there there's a dvd player i'll show you more about but um yeah, these seats are very comfortable, and you also have a car cargo net kind of thing, type thing here. You have to put up here. It's kind of hard to... You hook them in these holes there, and then you kind of have a net to put stuff in. And you do get... St you can put, like, a lot of stuff here in front here, which is nice. You know. So, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the back. Now you can either open up the doors, the rear doors with your remote or this, or you can just go ahead and pull on it and it'll open. Very nice. You got rear captain chairs back here, leather seats, armrest too. As you hop in, you got, there's good leg room. I got about five fingers here. Very nice. Got your power door switch there to shut it. And you also have a handle here. And you got this nice padding here, map pocket here, or something you can put random stuff in there. You got this map pocket there, and you do have a storage, uh, not a storage, but um, headphones that come with the DVD player. You also come, it also comes with a remote. I gotta stick this back in. Here's the remote. So that's nice. Right up. So these things are very comfortable too. You got two cup holders here. They look very nice and they are comfy. You can recline them and everything and they're nice. Uh, you have your light controls. You can turn on light reading lamps or something. This is for your fan, your climate control back here. And then this is for your radio and everything. Your DVD player is simple. You know, you can just fold it down here. You stick the DVD player down there. Um, and then you can just play your DVD with, you got remote or climate, you got remotes and headphones, which is nice. Look at the seven inch screen. So you got good, there's good leg room for the, all the rows. I'll show you in the back row too here. You got this nice full bench. So the metal seat is actually more comfortable than a 50-50 split bench because, you know, there's no cracks in the middle that is, uh, you know, not very comfortable. So all these seats are pretty comfortable, except I, the metal row does not have a headrest, but these do, and they're adjustable too. So back here, I have plenty of leg room. I've got oh, like five fingers there. Headroom's pretty good for me too. Um, you got air vents here. And then you got light controls here and stuff. Let's get your hangers. Down here you get your cup holder and storage, which is nice. And a pretty good padding here. And then also padding here. And then these are the vent, these are the windows that open from the button above I showed you. And so yeah, they're very comfortable. And then this metal seat here, you can actually put your feet in the hallway. Which would, you know, so I guess you have really good leg room for the middle here. So that's nice. And then over here you got a cup holder, but no storage compartment there. And you do have padding also in those like there. So you got vents and all these seats, are, this would fit six comfortably. And seven fits pretty good too. Um, I would say six is like with a really, is really comfortable. You could fit six very comfortably. Seven's pretty comfortable too, I'd say. So let's go ahead and hop out. Shut the door. Now as we hop in the back here, the trunk. Got a thing and it's got a handle here. You have this organizer with an air hose there too. But you can like put other stuff in there, which is pretty nice. 
You got an air hose here with a gauge on it too. Because it, this thing's got an air compressor. I'll show you more about that. Over here you get the air compressor. And then you also have a power outlet. A storage cubby here. And then also in here is your jack and everything. But let's go ahead and fold on the seats. And you got full flat seats, which is very nice. So yeah, that works great. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.